Alexander the Great was a member of the Arjad dynasty. He was born in Pella, central Macedonia in Greece in the year 356 BC. He succeeded his father Philip II to the throne at the age of just 20 and spent most of his ruling life on continuous military campaigns through Asia and Northeast Africa. In just 10 years, by the age of 30, he had successfully created one of the largest empires of the ancient world, stretching from Greece to India. Undefeated in battle, he is widely considered history's most successful military commander. The final resting place of this Macedonian king is one of the greatest mysteries of ancient history. No one has apparently been able to locate any evidence to suggest where he could have been buried. Recently, however, archaeologists claim that the actual tomb of Alexander was discovered and that this discovery was blocked by the Greek and Egyptian governments and has been ever since. Alexander died in a mysterious death at the age of 32 in Babylon in 323 BC. He had been holding a memorial feast to honor the passing of a close friend when he suddenly suffered intense pain and collapsed. He was taken to his bedchamber where, after days of agony, he fell into a coma and died. Scholars still debate the cause of death. Alexander was embalmed and a golden chariot was built to transfer his body to the sanctuary of Amon. When the procession made it to the border between Syria and Egypt, it was met by Ptolemy, who stole the body. Its location along with all artifacts ever since have remained a mystery. In the early 1980s, a man named Russell Burroughs claimed he stumbled upon a hidden cave somewhere near Olney. He apparently found human remains, metal weapons, and an ancient language carved into gold tablets. Stranger still, the language was Middle Eastern and European in origin and not from any known American Indian culture. What was astonishing about this apparent discovery was the fact that many artifacts recovered from the site strongly suggested that they were connected to the tomb of Alexander. The reason he claims his find has been covered up was realized by Virginia Hurrigan and Harry Hubbard, who upon deciphering the writings and cataloging the artifacts realized that they detailed numerous close encounters with extraterrestrial life apparently including a specific species of reptilians. Their work, which they maintain possession of, has been disclosed across the web, with a large selection of photographic studies of said objects. Are the powers that be hiding the fact that past rulers throughout history have been in contact with beings from other planets? Many have claimed through the subsequent years that Russell Burroughs' artifacts are frauds, and he still refuses to reveal the location of the hidden cave. However, it could also be seen as a smokescreen, obscuring from public view a real find of significant historical importance. Around the same time, many archaeologists came forward claiming Liana Suvalzi to have found the elusive tomb, just where it should have been all along. Yet they also claimed that her discoveries were indeed covered up, and it would seem with the help of Russell Burroughs' debunked find, it was successfully concealed from the world. Just what could there be in this tomb that is such a threat to modern understanding? What could be so earth-shaking that it would lead to an international cover-up? Let us know what you think in the comments. Thanks for watching guys, and until next time, take care.